So yesterday I stumbled across a phone called the Dodge Mix, and it's a completely, well almost completely, bezel-less phone. And it looks absolutely gorgeous, and it's only around 300 Canadian dollars, which is around 200 US dollars. So I'm thinking of buying this to review it, and I'm also going to be using this as my new phone, as my Galaxy S4 kind of got, uh, smashed. And overall, I'm just pretty excited to get this phone. In fact, the phone runs its own version of Android 7.0, which I think I'm just going to wipe off and put a new Android on there. But while I was searching around for different Androids to put on this phone, I found out about something called Android O. Now, if you don't know, Android O is the next version of the Android operating system. Evan Blass, who is a gadget leaker, said that it's most likely to release on the 21st itself. And also, people have been saying that Google's new Pixel smartphones will have this new Android O operating system. So the 21st, is it actually going to come out on the 21st? Well, we can't really confirm much, but if big leakers like this Evan Blast is talking about it and saying that's, that's when it's going to happen, then I'd say that we can trust him. Now, what does Android O provide? But what does Android O operating system actually offer? Well, Business Insider, who you'll be able to see their article in the description below, made a list of 11 new things that Android O will offer. The first thing it's going to offer is that you can finally see the battery life percentage in the status bar on the top. Now other versions of Android that have been skinned do actually have this, but it's nice that Google is finally embracing this. You would have think Google would have done this a long time ago, but I guess not. Apparently your phone will have twice as fast boot time, and the new operating system Android O will be optimized for better battery life and performance. You will get these brand new notification badges here by just holding on the icon and you can just see all the notifications you've gotten recently from that app. Google will completely redesign the settings app to make it more clean and modern. Now something that I've never heard of is called the picture in picture feature, which now in this new update will offer like a new launch video when you're in a call. So if you want to open a video, you can do that now. You can also turn on snooze notification for individual apps. And there's also going to be a new smart text selection feature. So you can select a whole name, you can select first and last names, and you can just select everything if you want. The stuff that they're offering isn't really huge, but it's worth mentioning. Now something interesting about the smart text selection tool is that you can highlight something and the most recent app that has to do with what you highlighted will open. So that's pretty interesting, like maps or phone. There's also now Google Play Protect. So it scans your apps and it makes sure that none of them contain like security flaws or any like viruses or things that are harmful to your device and could be your entire security option. The tenth feature is that you'll be able to log in without having to type anything, which I mean I guess is interesting, but it's not really a huge thing. And the final feature is called Treble or Treble, whatever you however you want to pronounce it. So non-Google Android phones like Samsung or LG will now get Android updates faster with this new feature. And apparently it's one of the main problems of Android. So I'm glad to see them fix that. Now as you can probably tell I'm not huge into Android because I kind of just talked about that and didn't really like go into in depth what that all meant. Now I would say I'm more iOS but I'm kind of in between on iOS as well. I know a lot about iOS, way more than I know about Android, but I just kind of prefer Android for being more custom and all that. And when I just want to go simple I just pick up an iOS device. Now I might actually install this Android operating system on that new phone that I'm talking about. That Doji Mix phone, which by the way, I'll have a link to buying that in the description, both a Canadian and American link. So I may do a review of the operating system and the phone later. I know I'm going to be doing a review of the phone, maybe the Android operating system if I think it's useful, but that's really what I have planned for this. And that's mainly the reason why I'm talking about this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do share this video on social media. It really does help. If you have any news articles you want me to talk about, please private message me on YouTube with a link to the article. And if you ask, you make it a shout out. Please leave your thoughts on this in the comment section below and see you.